Hi, Tom Romero with Sequin Performance Products. Today we're going to be installing the Bulldog under the bed gooseneck into this 2010 Ford F-150 4x4 Super Crew with a 6 foot bed. Okay, let's prepare for the install. To ensure a quick quality installation, check all the parts against the parts list with the included instructions. This will also help you to familiarize yourself with the parts in the kit. Just a reminder, use only Sequin Performance Products supplied nuts, bolts, and washers to install this kit. The first step in this installation is to measure the truck bed for where we will make the hole for the gooseneck hitch. We'll measure 45 and 3 quarter inches from the rear of the truck bed for this installation and then find center between the wheel wells. Using a center punch, we will mark that measurement and drill a quarter inch pilot hole. Remember, before drilling, check underneath the truck bed for obstructions. Before drilling the hole with the hole saw, we're going to mast out this area to prevent or limit scratching by the hole saw. Using a three and a half inch hole saw, enlarge the pilot hole to the final diameter. After we've completed that step, we'll take a file and deburr the hole. We'll use corrosion resistant paint to paint over the bare metal. Next, we will slide the forward and rearward cross member rails between the frame rail and the bed of the vehicle. The forward cross member rails have two additional holes centered between the long slots. From underneath the vehicle, insert carriage bolts into the outside square holes of the cross member rails. Next, we will loosely attach the head to evenly position the rails. Lift the underbed gooseneck head into position using the 5 8 inch conical tooth washers and lock nuts to install the head. At this point, we will not tighten it completely. We will now use the pull wire to insert the carriage bolts and blocks into the frame bracket mounting locations. Install the hitch frame brackets by aligning the mounting slots to the carriage bolts. Also, by aligning the threaded studs on the end of the cross member rails to the inner slots of the frame brackets. Loosely install the flat washers, lock washers, and hex nuts to the frame bracket. We're now ready to align the sleeve of the under the bed gooseneck hitch with the hole drilled in the vehicle bed. Next, we will torque the under the bed gooseneck hitch. Take the grade 5 5 5H fasteners that attach the cross members to the frame brackets. We will torque them to 150 foot pounds. Then the half inch grade 5 fasteners that attach the frame brackets to the frame rail to 75 foot pounds. Using the U bolt slots as a guide, drill four 9 16th inch holes into the truck bed. These holes must be in the lower bed corrugations to limit the amount of the U-bolt showing above the bed. From under the truck bed, install the half-inch flat washers, U-bolt springs, and half-inch lock nuts to the U-bolts. Tighten nuts so a minimum of three threads are showing past the nuts. Next, we will assemble the handle and pin it into place. Insert the gooseneck ball into the hitch receiver and lock it into place. Remember that the gooseneck ball can be stored upside down. When storing upside down, be sure to check for clearances between the ball and the truck equipment. For example, the differential, brake lines, and electrical lines. Well, that wraps up our install of the Bulldog Under the Bed Gooseneck Hitch. Thanks for watching. Hi, Tom Romero with Sequin Performance Products. Today we will be assembling and installing 
the Bulldog high-rise conversion hitch into this 2010 Ford. The Bulldog high-rise conversion hitch converts the Bulldog under the bed gooseneck hitch, the draw tight hide a goose hitch, and the B&W turnover ball gooseneck hitch into a fifth wheel hitch. To ensure a quick quality assembly and installation, check all the parts against the parts list with the included instructions. Just a reminder, use only sequin performance products supplied nuts, bolts, and washers to install this kit. The first step in the process of the assembly is to determine the appropriate height for your application. Once determined, we're going to attach the center section to the base assembly using the 5 8 inch bolts and lock washers. Then we're going to torque those 5 8 fasteners to 170 foot-pounds. Remember when also attaching the center section, you want to refer to the chart in the instructions to decide which way the offset will be placed for that center section. For this Ford F-150 install, the offset will be facing in the forward direction. Next, we will assemble the spring assemblies. Use the quarter inch bolts, washers, spacers, and springs. The torsion springs are designed to hold the fifth wheel head in the hitch up position at all times. Okay, we're now ready to insert the post assembly into the gooseneck hitch. The gooseneck hitch comes with two post assemblies. One has a square post, one has a circular post. For this application, we'll be using the circular post, which fits in both the draw tight and the bulldog under the bed gooseneck hitch. We're gonna fish wire the 5 8 neural bolt through the inside of the post assembly and through the horizontal hole in the post and the slot in the base assembly. Then we're gonna loosely tighten all the 5 8 inch conical tooth washers and nylon lock nuts. We're now ready to slide the post assembly into the gooseneck hitch. This will help us to determine where the plastic strips should be adjusted to fall into the corrugations of the truck bed. Once that is determined, tighten down the plastic strips. The plastic strips are actually designed to prevent the hitch from rotating into the truck bed. This is a great design feature in the high-rise conversion hitch. Next, we're gonna tap the end caps into place. After that, we'll take the high-rise conversion hitch and place it into the underbed gooseneck hitch. We'll close the handle and lock it into place. Before towing, the 5 8 inch hex nuts connecting the post assembly to the base assembly should be torqued to a minimum of 120 foot-pounds. The handle locking pin on the gooseneck hitch should not be able to be released when tightened. We're now ready to put the high-rise conversion hitch head on. We want to make sure that we align the torsion springs correctly. After that, we'll pin the hitch head into place and then we'll take the handle and slide it onto the head and bolt that into place. That'll complete the assembly and installation of the Bulldog high-rise conversion hitch. Thanks for watching.